Dr. Mamori here. By now, I'm sure you all know my name. I've repeated this one more time also. Uh, I'm performing the experiment for you. Single and double displacement reactions. Uh, the purpose of the recording is for you to uh, record your observation. I'm not going to write down everything for you and to just show you what happened, explain what happened, and you are going to record the observation yourself. So be prepared uh, when you are watching this video. So you have your data sheet already open, so you can actually record your um, observation. Um, single displacement, double displacement in general is a, in a displacement reaction. Uh, you are starting with a reactants, and then you have your product. So a general format for single displacement is A plus B. That gives uh, a C plus B. A is going to be element. B is going to be a solution. So it's a metal ion or you have a ionic compound. And then the product, you are going to have another solution with a new metal if the reaction takes place. Uh, the reaction takes place under what condition? If the element that you're adding is more reactive than the metal ion. Metal ion has a positive charge. The element that you're adding is neutral because you take a piece of magnesium or zinc in the neutral compound. So you have this neutral magnesium. doesn't have any charges. So if magnesium, let's say, is more reactive than copper, and you have your copper in the solution, copper has a two plus charge in the solution. So you have metal ion is called copper ion, copper two plus, that would be your metal ion. The metal that you're adding, this is just an example, is magnesium. So your magnesium is the metal, is your magnesium and your metal ion is uh, copper two plus. Now, if magnesium is more reactive than copper, magnesium, more reactive metal than copper, that means magnesium can give electrons. When the magnesium gives electron to copper, copper is going to take the electrons, basically be reduced, and changes to copper zero or copper in the elemental position uh, or neutral copper. So if copper comes out of the solution, magnesium goes into solution, there are a couple of things we have to see. We have to see like particles, like the, the cupric color red particles coming out of the solution, that's copper. Magnesium should disappear. That's another evidence. Copper sulfate is blue color. Magnesium sulfate is uh, no color. It's a colorless solution. So the color of the blue has to also be lightened. So it should get lighter and lighter as the copper is coming out of the solution. So the color, blue color should fade it out. It should get, if you add enough magnesium and you wait forever, of course, it's going to be colorless solution. So for me, because it's qualitative analysis, as soon as I see evidence for the reaction, I'm going to move on to the next one. So I'm not going to wait until the all of the magnesium react with all the color, you know, the full blue color is going to um, disappear. So make sure you are going to record your observation uh, fast with me. And part one, uh, you are going to follow the procedure. Read the procedure, read the introduction part before you actually record your observation. It's like basically coming ready to the lab. You have done your pre-lab already. You know what single displacement is, what is double displacement. What are you trying to, what's the purpose of the experiment, what you're trying to do. But I start with the following procedure with just a minor explanation about the experiment, what we are doing, so you have an idea of what we are doing in case you watch the video first. We're going to follow the procedure, label test tubes A to F, and we place these chemicals that is given in the procedure for A is going to be lead nitrate. A is going to be lead nitrate. I'm going to add lead nitrate to first one. Just following the procedure, adding lead nitrate to the first test tube. Okay. Silver nitrate to B. Copper sulfate to C. Lead 
let nitrate to D, magnesium chloride to E, zinc chloride to F, NaCl to G, NaCl to G, and KCl to H. And step two says um, to get the copper, zinc, and magnesium until they are clean pieces of copper, magnesium, and zinc. To the first one, we are going to add to A and B, we are going to add piece of copper to A and B. I'm going to polish it just to make sure that it's shiny and clean. A and B. To test tube C and D, we're going to add a piece of zinc metal. So take two pieces of zinc, one for each. Magnesium to F, G, and H. Take care. Three pieces of magnesium. We need to polish them. What are we looking for? We are looking for evidence of a reaction, meaning that the metal is going to go in and the metal ion comes out of the solution. For single displacement, you have this table that you need to fill up. So for A, when we have like lead nitrate, the metal ion is going to be lead 2 plus because it's a lead 2 nitrate. The metal that we added is copper. Copper plus the lead. If there is a reaction, if we see any reaction here, we are going to record the reaction. And if there is no reaction, we record no reaction. So we have reaction or no reaction. So we're going to say uh, no reaction. If there is a, if you, there's evidence for reaction. If the uh, color did not change, if the, the lead didn't come out, so we didn't see any particles of gray color of, of lead coming out, um, then there is no reaction. So we just say no reaction. For the first one, test tube A, then there is no reaction. Okay? Make sure you record that. For B, okay, see what happens for B? The particles, silver particles are coming out and copper is going in. The solution change color and we see those particles the gray color or silver color particles coming out so there is a reaction here your metal ion was silver and the metal is copper copper gave electrons to silver for lead and i'm sorry this is zinc with copper sulfate, test tube C. Copper sulfate with zinc. You see the color? See those particles in the test tube? That's the evidence that, yes, there was a reaction. Those are like copper, pieces of copper coming out, and lead is going into the solution. So we see this red color particles that is copper is coming out so for test tube c there is a reaction okay test tube c there is a reaction your metal ion was copper the metal that was added was zinc and there is a reaction zinc was added to lead zinc is added to lead nitrate so D is lead nitrate, zinc 
reacted with the lead nitrate. Zinc is going in and the lead is coming out. See the particles? The particles are on the wall. Just bring in closer to the camera for you to see it. The zinc reacted with lead nitrate as well. What does it mean? It means zinc is more reactive than lead. Zinc can give electrons to lead. Basically, this is like oxidation reduction type reaction. Zinc is being oxidized, lead is being reduced. E. What do we have for E? We have zinc and magnesium. Zinc and magnesium. Okay. I don't see any reaction, so no reaction. Zinc, magnesium, no reaction. Next one. Magnesium is, with F is, magnesium with zinc. If zinc doesn't have reaction with magnesium, then magnesium has must have reaction with the, with the zinc when it's like, the zinc is in the solution. Zinc in the solution. So metal ion is zinc and the metal is magnesium. And that is a yes reaction. Okay? There's reaction here. You see the particles coming out and the magnesium is going in into solution. So for test tube F, there is a reaction. Okay? For test tube F, there is a reaction. When you have magnesium, it's zinc. Magnesium with sodium chloride, clear solution, nothing happened, no particle came out, no reaction. So you have no reaction here for magnesium with sodium chloride, G, test tube G, no reaction. Test tube G, no reaction. Test tube H, magnesium with sodium chloride, no reaction either. See, it's clear solution, no particles came out. So no reaction. Letter H, there is no reaction. Test tube seven. Hopefully you can record all your observation and, and uh, complete the data sheet for experiment seven and turn it in as an assignment to your professor if it's me or anyone else from.